Hi, it's Tyler. Welcome back. In this uh, episode, I'm going to tell you a secret to long-term weight loss success. Now, this secret is something that took a long time for me. The, the problem I've had is, over a long period of time, I've tried different things to lose weight. I've tried uh, to eat healthier, I've tried to exercise, I've tried cutting sugar out of my diet and other things, and nothing really seemed to work. And even leading up to this last year, I've lost about 80 or 90 pounds in the last year. I've got another 30 or 40 to go. And um, in the last year, I've been thinking about why is it that I can lose, it's like a miracle that I'm losing weight now and I wasn't able to in the future. And I certainly tried in the past and there were times where I'd lose five or 10 pounds and then with a week or two, I'd gain part of that back and then within several months, I'd gain it all back and then add more to it. And that was kind of a cycle over lots of years. And so I've been analyzing over the last several weeks and thinking back and reflecting on why is it that I gained that weight back and why, what has made the difference so I'm not gaining the weight this time? And here is my secret. I'm going to reveal it early. It's education. It really is. Um, a lot of weight loss is mindset. And you have to be in a place where you can really um, focus on what you're doing and make some changes in your life. And you're not going to make changes in your life until you've changed it at first in your mind. You change it first in your mind and your heart and then you can do it. And that's what's happened for me. Uh, last year, I spent a lot of time thinking about weight loss, uh, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, watching transformation videos and getting inspired. And I did that for several months before, while I made a plan. And then I used all that information and education to form a plan for me that I thought would work. Now, in the past, I've done things like that too, where I've thought about it and I've been going, I'm going to try this and it's going to work. And it did work for a short period of time and then it, it stopped working. So another secret is you can't stop learning. Um, I would get done with a race, I'd train for a marathon or something, and I'd lose 20 pounds. And then after the marathon, I'd rest for a few weeks, heal up my legs, and I'd fall back into old habits. Uh, and that just doesn't work very well. What you have to do is, once you hit one milestone, have another one and, and set, continue to set goals. Um, the problem with maintenance is if your idea is to stay the same, it's, that's not how our bodies work. Our bodies, especially as we get older, they change and they um, go through calories different and stuff like that. And so for maintenance, you have to con constantly be thinking, okay, what's the next thing I can do? What's the next challenge that I have in my life? And the reason I've been able to lose weight over the last year is I've continued to set goals for me. Uh, and some of them have been silly, like don't eat candy on Halloween, <laughs> you know, which I've never done before. And it was crazy to me to try it, um, but I tried it. And I tried to lose weight on my first cruise. And that was killer. I had to do a lot of exercise because I wanted to eat, right? The cruises have great food. So I would eat a lot, but I'd go to the gym a lot. And I ended up losing a pound on my first uh, one week cruise. Um, so I have these different challenges along the way. And when I get stuck, I think, okay, what's the next challenge? And I'm going to try something for two to three weeks. And the way that I come up with those challenges is I continue to learn. Um, one of the secrets for my success, not just in weight loss, but in life, is that I am a lifelong learner. I read books. This week I read two books. Um, I also listen to probably 10 hours of podcasts. And my podcast player plays episodes on things that I want to learn about. So right now I'm listening to podcasts about real estate investing, and podcasting, doing YouTube. Um, I'm listening to podcasts about how to be a, a better speaker uh, and how to be a better teacher. I'm also listening to podcasts specifically on weight loss and weight loss transformations. And I have like 12 different shows I'm listening to right now, but I'll cycle through those. Now, fortunately for me, I live an hour away from where I work. So I have two hours every day where I can listen to podcasts in the car. But if I didn't have that commute time, I would still have that time. I'm still waking up. So you can make that time. In fact, if I wasn't driving for an hour every morning, I'd probably be running for an hour every morning listening to those same podcasts. So it's making time for education and for learning. Um, another secret, I'm just going to throw in a few secrets. I know I, I said this video is just one secret, but here's another secret. Um, several years ago, I wanted to learn how to be a, a blogger. And the way that I did that, I didn't have time then either. I, I think I was still in graduate school at the time and I was working full time. So I was working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Um, and the only way I could learn how to blog was 
to find more time. And the way I did that is I started waking up um, between 3.30 and 4.30 every morning and I would blog and I blogged several times uh, a week. Um, some weeks I'd blog 10 to 15 uh, articles. And over that first year, I posted like 300 articles. And it was slow to build an audience and get people interested in what I was doing. I was doing um, college football recruiting uh, for my alma mater, BYU. And it started slow with that BYU Insider blog. But now I have a million page views. I just hit it this last month. A million page views on that blog. And it's mostly because in that first year, I took an extra hour or two every morning to wake up early and work on it. Now I'm using that extra hour or two every day to work on other things. And honestly, it's not for exercise because exercise is now part of my routine. It's what I do every day anyways. I've built it into different parts of my days. I do push-ups during my lunch break. Um, I run when I get home from work before dinner and then I do the exercise bike while I binge on Netflix in the evening with the kids. So I have that built into my schedule. I don't need extra time out of my normal schedule for that. But I'm still work, waking up at 3.30 to 4.30 every day to work on, I just finished this book, How, uh, how to Get Free Stuff. And I, the way I was able to write that was that extra hour or two in the morning. Um, I'm also using that early morning time to work on other things. Uh, you know, my website design and things like that. And it's working out really great for me. So there's another secret for you. Um, Wake up a little earlier. I know it's hard, and I think I've even done a video on that in the past. Um, if I haven't posted it, I'll post it sometime in the future. I know I've talked about it, um, but that's a really good thing. So, wake up early and continue to be educated. Uh, be a lifelong learner. It's amazing what you can do, and you'll start finding opportunities too. I went to a writer's workshop this week. It was free, which is awesome, and it was so awesome that I actually brought my kids. My daughter, she uh, published her first book when she was 10. It's amazing, it's called Battle School. You can find it in Amazon. And um, she wrote it as a 10 year old. But I took her with me to this writer workshop uh, this week and we learned about how to be better writers, which was really exciting. And we're looking for opportunities like that. How can I learn more? How can I grow? I'm continually looking for different channels on YouTube. Um, where can I find more about health and weight loss? Um, as well as these other things. I'm looking at YouTube videos for YouTube. <laughs> how to do YouTube. So I'm watching that on YouTube. Actually, if you're interested in that, Tim Schmoyer is the best. He is awesome. He does video uh, creators. But there's Daryl Ease and there's uh, Nimmin. I can't remember. His name's hard for me. But I watch him too. And there's a bunch of other ones. Um, the other video creators. Oh, those two guys. I can't remember their name. But they're awesome too. Maybe I'll link to all these guys in the description. Um, which I don't know why you guys would care. You just want to lose weight. Um, but I'm just finding all sorts of stuff as I look every week and I'm trying to find more stuff that will help me in my life. I hope that you can find ways uh, to continue to be educated. The reason I, dr I um, would lose the weight before and then gain it is I quit learning. I quit um, challenging myself and setting goals. So as you're learning, set goals for yourself and implement those things you're learning. and It'll make a big difference. I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Um, I like you guys. I'll put another one up soon. See you later.